Have you ever been in an auto shop and heard that sudden hiss of air or watched a mechanic effortlessly remove bolts in seconds? Chances are what you're hearing and seeing in action is a pneumatic tool. Today we're diving into the world of pneumatic tools, what they are, how they work, and why they're so widely used in industries from automotive to construction. Whether you're a DIY enthusiast or just curious about how those powerful air tools work, get ready to dive in. Right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with the word itself. Pneumatic comes from the Greek word pneuma, which means air or breath. So when we talk about pneumatic tools, we're talking about tools powered by compressed air. That's right, no batteries, no electric cords, just air under pressure doing all the work. Pretty neat, right? The core concept is simple. Compressed air is stored in a tank or generated by a compressor, then sent through a hose to the tool. That air pressure drives a motor or piston inside the tool, turning it into motion, whether that's spinning a drill bit, hammering a chisel, or tightening a bolt. Think of it like this. Instead of using your muscles to twist a wrench or swing a hammer, you're using the force of pressurized air to do the same job, faster and often more precisely. So what kinds of tools fall under the pneumatic category? Well, you've probably seen or used quite a few without even realizing it. One of the most common is the impact wrench, those loud rattling tools mechanics use to quickly loosen or tighten lug nuts when changing tires. Then there's the air ratchet, which is like a smaller, more compact cousin of the impact wrench, perfect for squeezing into tight spaces. Nail guns are another popular example. Carpenters and builders love them because they can drive nails with incredible speed and accuracy, making construction work far more efficient. Air hammers also stand out. They're used to chisel, shape, or break apart tough materials like metal or stone. You'll also find paint sprayers in this category. These tools use compressed air to atomize paint, allowing for smooth, even coats without the brush marks. And let's not forget die grinders, which are ideal for precision tasks like grinding, sanding, or polishing small surfaces. These are just a few examples, but pneumatic tools show up everywhere, from heavy-duty manufacturing floors to weekend DIY projects in your garage. You might be wondering, why go with pneumatic tools instead of electric ones? One of the biggest advantages is their power to weight ratio. Since pneumatic tools don't rely on built-in motors or heavy batteries, they're generally lighter and easier to handle. That makes a big difference during repetitive tasks or overhead work, where fatigue can be an issue. They're also known for their durability and long lifespan. With fewer moving parts and less heat generation, Pneumatic tools can withstand harsh, dusty environments and keep going strong over time. Another key benefit is the consistency of power. As long as your air compressor is running properly, you'll get a steady, reliable output without worrying about battery levels or overheating. And then there's safety. Because they don't use electricity directly, pneumatic tools eliminate the risk of electric shock or fire caused by short circuits, a major plus when working around flammable materials or liquids. Of course, all that power has to come from somewhere. Enter the air compressor. This is the machine that takes in regular air from the atmosphere and compresses it to a higher pressure, usually storing it in a tank. When you connect a pneumatic tool, the air flows from the tank through a hose into the tool and does the work. Compressors come in different sizes, from small portable units that are perfect for inflating tires or powering a nail gun, 
to large stationary units used in factories. The choice depends on how much air pressure, measured in PSI, and airflow, measured in CFM, your tools need. Pneumatic tools are a mainstay in industrial settings, assembly lines, automotive plants, shipyards, and construction sites. Their reliability, power, and efficiency make them ideal for high-volume, heavy-duty work. But they're not just for the pros. Many DIYers and hobbyists use pneumatic tools, too. If you've got a compressor at home, you can use it for everything from inflating bike tires to airbrushing models, or even doing a full home renovation. They're especially popular in woodworking and metalworking shops where precision and repeatability matter. As great as pneumatic tools are, they're not without their drawbacks. For starters, they require a compressor, which adds to the initial cost and takes up physical space in your work area. It also means you're tethered to wherever that compressor is located, limiting mobility to some extent. Another downside is the noise. Between the humming of the compressor and the operation of the tools themselves, things can get pretty loud. So wearing ear protection is a smart move. And while pneumatic tools are built to be tough, they aren't always the most portable. Unlike cordless electric tools, you're connected to hoses, which can be cumbersome in tight or remote spaces. Still, for many users, these are relatively small trade-offs, considering the power, speed, and reliability pneumatic tools bring to the table. There's also an interesting conversation to be had about energy use. While pneumatic tools themselves don't emit pollution, the compressors that power them do use electricity or fuel, depending on the model. That means their environmental impact depends on how the power is generated. That said, pneumatic systems are often more efficient in the long run for large operations, especially when multiple tools are run off a single compressor. Compared to powering each electric tool separately, it can actually be more energy efficient. So there you have it. Pneumatic tools. Simple in concept, powerful in execution. They've been driving industry for over a century and still hold their own in today's tech-savvy world. If you're thinking of starting a workshop, upgrading your tool set, or just want to understand what all that air-powered fuss is about, pneumatic tools are definitely worth exploring. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.